the minute you take batteries out of the equation and you make it into a swappable model where you can't charge it at home but you have to swap then there's only one model which is successful globally and that's in Taiwan. The battery price as it's coming down, the price will come down the consumer adoption will increase. The minute you take batteries out of the equation and you make it into a swappable model where you can't charge it at home but you have to swap, then there's only one model which is successful globally and that's in Taiwan, Gogoro. There is no other successful model for battery swapping anywhere for a consumer. So you've got to either have a very, very dense swapping solution or this is going to work more for the, for the commercial market. So deliveries, when we're talking about 100 kilometers, now if you load, if you give a consumer 100 kilometer plus range on a vehicle, the price goes up. So you've got to take the battery out of the equation and keep on swapping the battery in order for the vehicle to keep running. The second thing is that the more batteries you're putting onto the vehicle, the more charging time, the more every replacement cost goes substantially higher when you come down to the replacing of the batteries after three years or four years or five years, whatever be the case. So swapping works very well for three-wheelers and will work there. Cars, it's not going to work right now and multiple models have been tried and it's not worked. So it works for fleet sales, whether it's a common platform and it's a uniform uh, chassis, uniform vehicle where the batteries can be swapped. If you take the battery out of the equation and you say, I'm going to finance only the batteries and not the vehicle, we have our legal issues in India that can you actually seize the vehicle or can you stop the vehicle, stall the vehicle electronically or otherwise if you haven't paid your installment for the battery, for example. So there are numerous regulatory issues. There are numerous financial implications that exist right now, which we have to get around. Even policy changes are required at this point of time in order for all of these models to work. But like I said, battery financing or swapping is one part of the solution. It's not the end all.